What's up? What's good? What's going on, family? So let's jump in. I want to see what it is that Sagittarius isn't aware of at this time. What is it that Sagittarius may or may not be aware of it? What don't you see coming? Um, so I'm going to use this deck first before we get into all that. Guys, this is going to be for your Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus, as well as that ninth house placement. Very particular messages here on the Mandula Awakening for that ninth house. But even with that being said, guys, these are general messages. So please just take the pieces that resonate for you and bless someone else with the rest. Okay. Um, so let's get the overall theme. What's anchoring this reading here for what Sagittarius doesn't see coming or what Sagittarius is unaware of. All right, Spirit. So what's the energy? What's the overall theme for this reading here for Sagittarius? Thank you, Spirit. So we have recognition. And waiting. So I feel like there's something that I, I feel like you've kind of been looking for, expecting something to come to you. And it's like the recognition is that it's finally arriving. I do feel like there's something that's finally arriving. But there's there is a need to keep yeah, an epiphany. But there is a need to keep waiting. There's something about being in solitude. Let's see. What is going on, Spirit? The Sagittarius main, um, the something that Sagittarius is not aware of, or doesn't see come in. What's going on for Sag Spirit? So we have priorities. Discontentment was at the bottom of the deck. I think something is starting to come into focus. It's like something that you didn't see, like something that you just kind of gave up on is what's come, like it's something that you're not expecting, something that you're not seeing. I feel like that is because you've kind of, give, kind of given up hope up on it. And so now it's like, to per, now that the recognition is that, oh damn, this might be really fucking approaching right now. Now I feel like that there's a having to do a lot at once instead of pacing yourself. I do feel like that things are, this pace is picking up here. We have bravado here at the bottom, I mean, here next. <clears throat> Self-control. Yeah, you can't feed into, like right now, there may be some things take going on that you can't take place in. You can't take place in this because um, you got other shit to focus on. You got to focus on leaving other shit behind. Wow. We have pleasure and unconditional love. Yeah, I think you have to make a temporary sacrifice here. Yeah, I was going to say, dang, I wish self-control was still at the bottom. And it is. So let's break this down. I do. I feel like that what it is that Sagittarius is unaware of is or not seeing is that um, there's there is some type of divine, unconditional pleasure coming in for you. Huh. But it's like a lot of people might be coming after your energy or whatever the case may be. So this is about waiting and knowing what to what signs to look for for like what is the rec how will you recognize something when it is arriving? And in order for you to begin to answer this question, it requires you to leave some things in the past. And it may be something it, like, you know what I'm saying? Like you may be having to turn down a lot of options here. You may, um, things that once brought you a lot of pleasure may be changing. Yeah, wow, looky here. Yeah, this emperor is offering a love cup here. Wow. 
Let's see. Show me Sagittarius' current energy spirit. Show me Sagittarius' current energy here. Four of Pentacles, holding back, holding on to something. You're de I definitely feel like that Sagittarius, what you're not seeing is that it is you that is being urged to leave something behind. You see how um, this particular uh, person in this Four of Pentacles is clenching that bag really tight. But yet in this priorities, someone is being urged to leave a box of baggage behind and come into a new era. Come into that. That's that world energy that I just said. Looky here too. So I feel like that it's Sagittarius. You're being asked to look at what it is that you're holding on to. Because I do feel like that because of something that you're holding on to, you are coming off as quite defensive. Yeah, what I say, wow, seven of wands. Very defensive, guarded energy. Not really welcoming anything in. Okay. So what's the situation that Sagitt so Sagittarius, you're not seeing, you're not clear. You're not seeing what it is that you're holding on to. So let's see. Let's look at this. Clarify priorities for Sagittarius, please. This is a three card. So this could be holding on to past collaborations, the heartache of past collaborations. Let's see, what is this? Baggage of past collection, uh, connections. What's going on here, Spirit? The Knight of Cups, the Moon card. I'm going to be Sagittarius, you know, I love you, but I'm going to be honest. I feel like that even though I got somebody that may be entertaining new options or even thinking that they're ready to entertain new options. If you, without waiting and truly being honest with yourself, because I have a Sagittarius that's not really being truthful and honest with themselves because a part of your strategy here is to, like, of course, you don't want to go into new connections and give it all in. So I do feel like that there's this energy of holding back, right? And just pacing yourself inside of these new connections. But I also feel like I got a Sagittarius that is like, Plus, if I don't do too much and I give it time, if anybody wants to give it their last, you know, there's this subconscious thought that if something's going to come back around, I'm just going to be honest. And so it's like you may be given options. I don't know why this message keeps coming out, Sag. But I guess because somebody needs to hear it. But I am getting the energy of you possibly hanging on to um, someone with Leo or Cancer, highly aspected. It could be a Cancer with the Moon card here, but it doesn't necessarily have to. But what it, this person, you do have some type of hidden fantasy about this person. You're very attracted to this person. Um, and this person has you gripped in other areas of pleasure in your life as well but there is this energy of not really giving in to certain situations therefore coming off as guarded i do feel like that is part of your subconscious strategy when working with other energies because and then it's almost as if there's a third party in there and you're like, damn, you coming to the terror readings. You're like, damn, but I ain't got no third party. You ain't got no third party. Where's this third party at? Well, the third party is, is because you still subconsciously really hold it on to, to you just like, all right, all right, they're going to pop up any day because they ain't getting ready. Let me get too far. I don't care. What, whatever the case may be, there's something like that that is here, okay? Yeah. Still not, you're still, you're, you're keeping your options open basically what that is let me see what is bravado here for something that sagittarius is not aware of at this time 
bravado. Why is this here? So we have the Knight of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the Emperor. Queen of Pentacles. Um, somewhere in your life, Sagittarius, there is an energy that is, um, what has once been closed off to this person, I do feel like that this person is, like if someone, if some, if an option has been blocked, whatever obstacle is in the way for possibly an Aries, um, I feel like that this person is defeating this obstacle. This part in this uh, like in this person is fighting for. Um, this person is challenging the authorities against having a new opportunity here. I do feel like that this person is walking away from something, and it, I feel like that it's in a big way. Okay, I feel like that there is some type of energy around you this could be you Sagittarius but we have the Queen of Pentacles Ace of Wands wow the Page of Cups and the Sun card yes there is some energy here that is walking away from something like they are putting they are doing a big bang they are manufacturing a big bang in their life like there has been an obstacle they've been afraid to cross a line here um I feel like that this person is about to like show out there okay and whatever this new opportunity is it is going to require some nurturing here okay because there is still some emotional issues that have to be discussed and they are very sensitive and delicate issues here okay that, that have to be strategically addressed but i do see good shit on the other side of this okay like this person could even be walking away from something that was very toxic and codependent. Why is pleasure here for something that the Sagittarius Collective is not aware of? We have the Page of Pentacles and the Hanged Man in the Lover's Card. There's an offer possibly from a Pisces or a Gemini. There's some type of offer. Um, what I'm, it's like someone's, Pisces, strong Pisces here. This person is trying to surrender something to like, yeah, look, I told you this person is manufacturing. If these two are linked here, this person is manufacturing some sort of tower so that they can move on to calmer waters. It's like where they've been at, it's been constant choppy waters. And so I feel like that this person is manufacturing some sort of tower. Yeah, I do feel like that you got to take a leap of faith. I feel like somebody's taking a leap of faith on you. And if I'm being honest with you, upright for yes, reverse for no. Yes, this is new love, y'all. I was asking spirit, upright for, for yes, reverse for no, for if this is someone new. Meaning, Sagittarius, this storyline has been coming up. Y'all know I'm not lying. This person that is on their way into you. I do feel like that this person is getting ready to take a grandocious risk. They getting ready to make a power play, a power choice. They got the vision. They got the balls. It's they turn. It's like they are in position to make to call their shots and take that to make their move. And I do feel like that this person is getting ready to make a power play here, a power decision. 
and it, it it is man it is a manufactured tower in their life to end something that has been full of chaos and they don't want any part of it and i do feel like that they're coming towards sagittarius but it is going to require sagittarius to make room for this person's pentacle here you know what i'm saying like are you going to be open to this to this to receive this gain a different perspective on it there is a need to gain a new perspective here recognition yes recognize that this ain't like the others and then you got to figure out why this ain't like the others what makes this now what makes it feel different you ain't got to find out why it's not like the others what makes it feel good <clears throat> all right spirit so what's unconditional love here why is unconditional love here for something that sagittarius is unaware of we've got cancer aries pisces and gemini here I do feel like somebody's trying to gather up someone's trying to figure out how to make an offer to you i feel like that this person is trying to learn you this person is trying to figure out how to approach you what do you like to do for fun how can i offer a date what kind of date do i offer this person's birthday could be in i mean in september this person's birthday could be in september Or this is something that could take place in September. There's something significant about September for what I'm reading. Damn, September 1 and Eight of Pentacles is September 1st. It's September 1st. It ends September 1st. So it's Mercury. It's Virgo Mercury. Let me see. What is Virgo Mercury energy? I know that's definitely. Let's see. Virgo Mercury energy. According to Indastro, Virgo is a dual earth sign ruled by Mercury. Since Mercury is in its own sign in an exalted position, this placement is deemed positive in Vedic astrology. The energy of Mercury affords the native with a rational mind and a practical approach. So there's a practical approach needed here. A practical approach. So someone is trying to... Someone is gathering. Someone is trying to learn through... Someone is trying to gather... Through observation on how to make a practical approach about a choice that they've already made. That they've already made. Yeah, they've already made it. They just don't want to move too fast or they fear moving too fast. There's something here about that too. Okay, so let's see. What is this unconditional love here, Spirit? Y'all, I know I have not asked y'all, but if you're resonating with this reading and liking this style, we would absolutely appreciate a thumbs up down below. Guys, I, like I said, I do feel like this is new love here coming in. I just feel like Sagittarius is, 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 is still unaware of what they're holding on to that's preventing this new love from coming in. And this person has a vision. This person knows what they want. This person has made a decision. The only thing, I feel like one thing that is slowing this person up is how to make this offer towards Sagittarius. Let's see. Unconditional love spirit. What is this? The world card. The five of swords. The king of cups. The justice. And it's here in the reverse. And the devil card. Mm. Um, okay, so I feel like that what you're unaware of 
it there is something about a water sign here. It could be a water sign, it could be a Libra. Um we also I, I I've got that Saturn energy with the world card, so that could be Capricorn. But I really don't feel that. I feel like what this Saturn energy is saying is that there's a lesson. Like, there's unconditional love here, yes. But a lesson has been learned here. Okay? A lesson has been learned here. And I think that what this lesson is trying to tell, like, now that this lesson is learned, it's time to surrender. Surrender. This tit for tat energy, this self sabotage. It is time to close up this self sabotaging error. It is. Um, this is somebody here has a self sabotage. Somebody is emotionally manipulative. They are. They're emotionally unbalanced at times and it does sabotage connections. It brings connections to an end prematurely here. I do feel like that while there's unconditional love here, I feel like someone's not all the way learning the lesson, okay? And because someone isn't learning the lesson, I do feel like that that is the, there's a need to be diplomatic in closing this cycle out because someone is not learning the lesson that is needed in order to have success here. There's love, but this is, this 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 don't work for you because you or this is vice versa so if you've been putting in the work then you don't desire to backtrack here and or backtracking is sabotaging your growth um if you find yourself to be the less mature one then i do feel like um, that this person has decided to close this cycle out because of some emotional manipulation here. Just being honest. All right. So let's go ahead and get a closing message on this one. All right, Archangel Michael, what is the closing message? Yeah, there's messages coming in from someone from your, from someone, from someone. I think you got, I think you, I, I, I really do, honestly, I feel like that this is the past person. And I feel like that that's that past energy that you do kind of hold a secret, hidden, open and available spot for. Honestly. But I also feel like that there's this new energy that's coming in. And this person makes the ultimate. This, like, this person changes shit up just to even make an offer towards Sagittarius. Is what I feel. And then I, put, I feel like that that kind of puts Sagittarius in between a rock and a hard place. You know what I'm saying? All right, Spirit, what's the, uh, Archangel Michael, what is the closing message here for the sign of Sagittarius? I want you to know that you are ready for this kind of connection. Whatever this connection is bringing into you, you are ready for it, Sagittarius. It's just you have to let these things go. You have to let this past connection go. It says, you have a powerful message to share. Shine your light on the world so that others can learn from you. Yes, you are correct. I do feel like you're going to be stuck in between two. This past person and this new person. But you have to understand that you have to honestly give someone the exact same shot that you gave this past person. That they boo-booed all on. Now this new person can't even get a chance and they're actually worthy of it. Okay? And then it says your vibration is rising, which is why you're attracting a higher vibrational lover here. Okay. All right, Sag, I absolutely love you. I pray that this message offers you the guidance on your journey. If this message resonates, we would appreciate that thumbs up down below. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, guys, let's choose peace. Love and light, Sag.